All right, everyone, welcome to this daily slash weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast. This is for January 8th through the 14th of 2018. So I am going to be taking a trip for this week to visit some friends and family, a um, little mini vacation. So I am going to be putting the daily here in this video. Uh, so just one video for the week. Um, then when I get back, we'll go ahead and go back to dailies as usual. All right, so I'm going to try to look at all of this here in as much detail as possible. But essentially this week, uh, we kick things off with a very nice sextile between the Sun, Venus, and Pluto, uh, where they're going to be conjunct and sextiling up to Jupiter and Mars. So a lot of planets involved in what you could call a mega sextile with all five of these planets, um, essentially opening a sort of gateway is a way of looking at this. And this could be a gateway to connect in relationships. It's this gateway of transformation, changing our belief systems and taking some action and some motivation and drive, maybe in the relationship area, maybe to let go of some past patterns, just in general transformation. So very powerful, lots of fire energy. So we'll look at that in detail. That's Monday, Tuesday. Um, and then uh, Mercury is gonna be shifting into Sagittarius. So coming into the week as well, there's this sort of transformation of our perspective, of our mind, and probably seeing things from a, a much larger perspective once Mercury gets out of deep healing uh, fucus. So uh, once we get into the weekend here, we do have the Sun and Venus squaring Uranus, so maybe some erratic energy over the weekend, and I'll talk about how to work with that. And uh, Mercury is going to be conjunct Saturn, so a very serious and practical mind as well. could be really good for productive stuff and productive stuff with the routine over the weekend. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down day by day. Let's start with Monday and Tuesday, uh, because as you can see here, Lots of aspects Monday and Tuesday, uh, these two days, but it's 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 a lot simpler than it looks. Basically, what this is, is it just so happens that the Sun, Venus, and Pluto, and I'll go ahead and show you in the chart here. So the Sun, Venus, and Pluto are all going to conjoin in Sagittarius. And while that conjunction happens, again, Monday, Tuesday, they are going to be sextiling up to Mars and Jupiter who went conjunct last weekend. So these five planets all in this sort of mega sextile here between them um, does suggest this sort of opening. So that's essentially what sextiles are about. Openings, gateways, you could say. We can choose or choose not to work with this energy, but because it's conjunction involved, I think there will be this sort of push to implement it. So basically, there's a few different ways of looking at this, one from the relationship front, I think these two days we could be particularly focused on relationships in our life, wanting to relate with others, maybe a bit of passion with relationships, right? This sort of uh, sun energy engulfing Venus. So really good to bring some extra attention to just to keep make, make sure everything's nice and balanced with reciprocity, give and take, equality, just because the passion or energy might be very you know overwhelming or very strong. So that's that conjunction. But once Pluto's involved, I think what this is most importantly going to be transforming is our belief systems in Sagittarius, this, this uh, three-way conjunction, this stelium here. So all beliefs are dying away. This could have to do with relationships more certainly. But fundamentally, what's changing here is our values with Venus and even our passions with the sun, our passions, what we enjoy in life and who we are based on those values and passions are transforming. All right, so very empowering uh, three-way conjunction here. And so um, great time Monday, Tuesday to shed the old, to make way for the new. Again, fundamentally about our belief systems with Sagittarius there. And even facing some fears, that can be very empowering as well if you are feeling it from that angle. All right, so that uh, stelium there is going to be sextiling up to Mars Jupiter, who went conjunct last weekend, last Saturday. And so on the interpersonal side of things, this is that masculine, feminine energy in good harmony. Again, good for passion and relationships, things like that. Just a sort of opening, a bit of uh, awareness of our personal needs, as well as a willingness to connect 
and hopefully have reciprocity and that sort of thing, especially with Mars and Jupiter in Libra, which is all about reciprocity, equality. We're going to be learning a lot about this in 2018, but we're likely doing that with Mars and Libra. So, um, so that's the passion side of it with the yin yang energy there. Um, but this is very motivating energy. It's very confident energy. So that can be certainly coming through all areas of life, just a bit of inspiration, confidence, motivation, and um, again, to make some change, some powerful change, perhaps just an opening here, some change by taking action, taking initiative, change by again, seeing things in a different light, which is a sextile to Jupiter. So it's very inspiring. It's very buoyant, especially with this stelium and Sagittarius, sextiling Jupiter, Mars over Jupiter, right? Jupiter's really expanding all of this, helping us again, see the big picture. All right. So really good energy here, a sort of gateway that may require some action. If you want some initiative, some connection, some transformation of the old, right? To face some fears, empowerment. It's a very nice um, aspect we've got. So at the same time, probably a little more into Tuesday, Mercury is going to go over the galactic center and into Sagittarius, actually over the galactic center, probably around Mon uh, Sunday, Monday time coming into the week, but officially in Sag once we get to about um, Wednesday. Okay. So our perspective in terms of what we've been healing um, this past month really is uh, finally culminating. All right. It's finally going through the final transformation. So um, I think we're coming out of a very deep time with our mind. We've been learning about healing. Maybe we've been healing our mind or subconscious, things like that. And so we are going to likely notice a bit of a shift into then coming out of the deeper energy on some level, right? This is our mind with Mercury. It's not all the planets, but our, our, our mind and our perspective on things. So once we get into Wednesday, probably feeling this bit of transformation a bit, this larger perspective makes it really good for discussing the meaning of life, analyzing our life path, right? Sharing and exchanging in this way that's a little bit more open-minded and maybe a bit of adventurousness, right? And maybe with our routine as well, sort of transformation to our routine of enjoying a little bit more of expansion in our life when all the fast movers other than Mars will be in Sagittarius. All right, so that's the um, first few days of the week. Lots going on with this backdrop. The moon will be in Virgo. So it will be a really good uh, few days, Monday through Wednesday, to see how we can improve, how we can fix things. And, and, and as I always say with Virgo, the best way is through self-improvement, right? Seeing what we can do with ourselves and with our life to improve, you know, to have even good health, diet, regimes, routine, right? Stuff like this. And just seeing how, while all this sort of gateway and passion is taking place, how we can improve ourselves, right? I think it's a great way of working with that. But there could be themes perhaps pertaining to your routine, taking care of things, managing things as a backdrop to these few days. All right. And then once we get into about Thursday um, and even you could say Wednesday evening, the moon will be shifting into Libra. So this will be emphasizing the Mars Jupiter again, maybe a bit of inspiration bit of motivation and drive getting activated again on Wednesday, but we may just be feeling like we want to again, have reciprocation, balance and equality in relationships, and then also balance in our personal life. All right. So it could be a good day for that on Wednesday and also a bit of that buoyancy. Once we get into about Friday and for the weekend, we have this deeper energy. All right. So the moon shifts into Scorpio on Friday. And uh, we'll be in a fucus on Saturday and even most of Sunday. So with this, uh, we have these other aspects taking place. I think once we get into about Friday, but especially early Saturday, uh, probably get, getting a bit serious with our what we're thinking about. Mercury is going to go over Saturn. So this can make it very productive if you're doing work or business these couple days. Um, but you will just notice, I think, just a more serious perspective and maybe more serious communications as well. So by all means, really good to do this, but I would say, you know, co concentrate on what's most important. It's a really good uh, focusing type of energy where uh, it becomes most constructive when we have maybe one or two things to focus our attention on and to work at and develop and just being patient with communication. I think there will be this whole new chapter 
about maybe learning about, you know, the importance of grounded commitment, communication, plans, stuff like that. And then also with our routine as well, you know, maybe a new beginning about taking that seriously, our routine. All right, and then once we get into Saturday, Sunday with again, this deeper energy. So it's a really good weekend with the moon in Scorpion of Fucus to really uh, be open to seeing what comes up emotionally. And it's often fears with Scorpio and Ephucus. So accepting those fears, again, taking action in the face of these fears. It's a very empowering type of week. And the weekend, uh, we could be, you know, there could be themes pertaining to this. So open with ourself is the most important thing. Be aware of anything that does come up and essentially accept, right? Accept any wounds, any fears, whatever that do come up and then take action in the face of those wounds and fears right especially this week because it is going to be the third quarter phase uh, of the moon coming into the week so it really is especially early in the week this sort of active phase this time where we do want to challenge ourselves to initiate to take action and maybe particularly to the insights we gained during the last new moon a week ago right last week the week before this or that full moon but um, anyways, about the uh, weekend, really good here for that depth uh, with ourself and that openness and acceptance can help us bring in more vulnerability with ourself, with life, with relationships, and really connect to life in that more meaningful and deeper way. All right, so that's the kind of serious thing there. Uh, but then there's also this erratic energy about Saturday, Sunday, uh, the Sun Venus conjunction will be squaring up to Uranus. So, um, yeah, there could be some unexpected things, maybe in relationships, or maybe we're just dealing with individuals or people or our relationships are just a bit flighty. Um, so maybe hard to deal there with relationships or there's something uneasy about them. Uh, with the sun square up to Uranus, there could be a bit of frustration, maybe impatience with wanting to uh, break free in some way. So if you do feel this erratic energy of Uranus, really good to um, as I always say, bring some conscious attention to that and then take things nice and slow and steadily, especially if it does involve relationships or finances, uh, values. Good to stay nice and grounded versus making any sudden choices or decisions, which uh, would be more of a reaction of wanting to break free. But listen to that freedom. And I think the freedom really is about uh, letting go of what's outside of our control, which is Uranus and Pisces, being a little more present as we all can be um and enjoying life in the now moment and kind of working at that constructively right and anything you can do to sort of um you know calm the self if you are feeling a lot of that erratic energy can also be constructive as well but listen to the freedom because there is some maybe change something you want to do to you know have more freedom and cultivate your life in a way that's more of an expression of who you are uh but just again in constructive ways is the healthiest way of working with this all right, and then once we get into uh, Sunday evening, the moon goes over the galactic center into Sagittarius. So as we get into next week, a bit more of that feeling a little more expansive. The moon will be joining up with the other um, planets in Sagittarius. And then early next week, we do have this uh, new moon. So new beginnings are around the corner, I would say, this weekend. Probably good to um, uh, notice the energies are dying down a bit. Maybe get in touch with our intuition, maybe a little bit of rest, especially Sunday going into Monday, that type of thing. Even though, again, there's that erraticness or whatever this uneasiness is with the square two Uranus. But uh, especially early next week, particularly Monday, Tuesday, etc. Uh, really good for the meditation, spiritual activities, getting some rest and stuff like that for the new beginnings. All right. So that is the week in a nutshell. I think I've pretty much covered it. Um, this could also be a healing weekend on a minor note with sextiles up to Chiron. It could be quite rejuvenating, actually, uh, with that stuff that we could be uncovering on that deeper level. But yeah, let me all uh, let me know if uh, any of you have any questions. Um, I'll be able to answer them before I go. But have a fantastic week. Um, hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you all very soon when I return next week. All right, take care.